Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to apply functional programming to convert strings to URL slugs. The last several uh, challenges covered a number of useful array and string methods that follow functional programming principles. We've also learned about reduce, which is a powerful method used to reduce problems to simpler forms. From computing averages to sorting, any array operation can be achieved by applying it. Recall the map and filter are special cases. Recall that map and filter are special cases of reduce. Let's combine what we've learned to solve a practical problem. Many content management sites, CMS, have the titles of a post added to part of the URL for, simply, for simple bookmarking purposes. For example, if you write a Medium post titled, Stop Using Reduce, it's likely the URL would have some form of the title string in it, stop dash using dash reduce. You may already notice that free code camp on the free code camp site, like so up here, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, it's all separated by dashes rather than spaces. This is in the functional programming space and we're up here. So we wanna find the, the URL slug function so it converts a string title and returns the hyphenated version of for the URL. You can use any of the methods covered in this section and don't, and don't use replace. Here are the requirements. The input is a string with spaces and title case words. Let's see here. The input is a string, so it's got capital letters, it's got spaces, that kind of thing. The output is a string with the spaces between the words replaced with a hyphen. The output should be all lowercase letters. The output should not have any spaces. Okay, full disclosure, I just ran through this one. I didn't, the first time I did it, I wasn't able to get the uh, global title variable should not change thing to pass. And, um, and then I reset the code, did it again, and I was able to get it to pass. So I'm gonna do it again now, and um, hopefully we won't have that same issue. But the first thing I wanna do is uh, let create a copy. So a title copy. And we're gonna make that equal to title.slice. Um, I like there. And now what we want to do is return title uh, copy, and I want to console dot log uh, winter coming. Why? Because winter coming is equal to the result of this URL slug function that we're working on in relation to global title. And so we see the uh, title copy is actually uh, the the title copy is the same as our global title. And so therefore, I think we're good to go. Um, our next step is, um, well, we want to go title. Uh, we could say, oh, well, we've, we've already made a copy of it, right? So what can we do now? It, we've got it to say dot slice, but now we could say um, dot uh, to lowercase. And then winter is coming, is coming out in lowercase letters. That fulfills um, that part of it. And now we could also split it based upon the spaces, correct? I'm gonna extend this just a little bit so we stay in there. We wanna keep this on one line. Okay, so our title copy is now, we could call this a, um, the, well this is actually more like the title divided into lowercase words. And then we pass this into there. So the title divided into lowercase words. And so our next step is to um, filter those words. Why? Because down here we're seeing winter is coming. Now if we passed this as the global variable. That was it. Okay, so what was happening was I was changing the global variable in the, in the code here. And that was causing this to fail. And that's the first time that's happened. Um, so that's going to be helpful. Anyways, let's pass this back in here and see what we're working with when we have a lot of interesting weird spaces. Now you see our array, our title divided into lowercase words, has a bunch of words that we don't want. So what do we want to do? We want to filter those right, words, right? So we want to say um, the title divided into lowercase words, we want to say uh, filtered, filtered words. We're going to let filtered words equal title divided into lowercase words dot filter and then we're going to say function uh, word and then we're going to say if word is not equal to a empty string 
then we want to return the word. So that means any words that aren't empty strings, we want to return. And now let's re have our function return that. Cool, now we have a cleaned up array. And so we no longer need this funky one. Winter is coming is the same output as winter is coming. And so filtered words is there. And what do we need to do to filtered words? Well, we need to go dot uh, join with join with a, a dash. Well, joint is not right, but we can join them. And so then we get winter is coming like this. If we run the tests, great, they pass. Okay, so this is terrible. This looks just this looks just terrible, right? Um, I mean, you think about it. You're, all of this could be passed in just by uh, concatenating the whole thing together, right? We could put this here, and that'll filter it just as well. And then we could also. Um, Uh, yeah, we could actually put the title.slice in here as well. We could just take this whole thing, get rid of this, and put it here, filtered words. So we just want to return the title, dot .slice. We run the tests, that still passes. Now this kind of looks terrible. Now one thing that people do, we'll say title, and you can kind of write it like this. Um, title.slice, to lowercase, split, to filter. You keep the filter up like that. And then you increment this up, oops. And then you add uh, oop, the dot join up here as well. You could actually do it like that. Now this actually passes all the tests as well. So this looks a lot cleaner perhaps, if you like doing it like that. Um, yeah, I would probably do it like this. Uh, another thing we could do to refactor is to use uh, ES6 and the arrow functions. If word, return word. That makes it a little bit easier. And we could put this on one line as well. And so instead of having it like that, we could do it like this. This still passes the test. Now this actually looks pretty clean to me. Um, the order of these is very important, right? Um, Title.slice makes the copy. We take it to lowercase. We don't actually have to do that. We could take it to lowercase um, down here if we wanted to. And that would run and pass the test as well. So lowercase is sort of the one that th it isn't very important. Join definitely has to be after split. And filter has to be between split and join. And slice has to be the initial one. Actually, I don't think that we need this now. If you were to run the test now, it still passes. Oh, okay, so you don't actually need to make a copy in here. The thing that was causing my test to pass was that I had changed the global title. So just this variable needs to remain the way that it was initially when we started this um, exercise. Um, so yeah. I would, might just do it like this, but nah, I like this. This is the way I would I would run this one because it kind of shows the um, the thought process, and it's important that these are in these orders. So um, yeah, you don't actually need to console log it. I like to do that just so we know where we're at. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.